So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious immune boosting tea that I've been drinking lately just because it's flu season and I wanna stay healthy. So what's in this is basically some fresh ginger. We got some fresh garlic, fresh lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of maple syrup just to sweeten it up. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here's chef joke number one. Why are tea leaves always grounded? Because they're always getting into hot water. <laughs> here's why ginger is so good for us. There are many benefits, but here's just a few. First off, it's anti-inflammatory. It also helps with our blood sugar regulation and it's a natural pain reliever. Now experts recommend not exceeding three to four grams a day. So let's just keep it, say like at a tablespoon. Don't exceed a tablespoon a day, don't go crazy. And also make sure you check with your doctor if you have any questions. So you wanna peel your ginger. I like to just cut off the tip and then I'll cut off a piece, say about, oh, half an inch or so. I like to peel my ginger, so I just take the knife and I will just cut off the edges or you can use the back of a spoon. Once the ginger is peeled, then I like to just slice it into thin slices. Cutting it thin like this just gives it more surface area in which to impart the nutrients and the flavor into the tea. And then we'll place that into our pot of water. Now let's check out the benefits of lemon. It's high in vitamin C, it supports your heart, it prevents kidney stones, it improves your digestion, and a lot of other stuff. Don't forget to incorporate the lemon peel because there's many health benefits in that as well. It improves your bone health, it's, it's detoxifying, it promotes weight loss, it just does so many things, too many to mention here. You'll want to zest your lemon first before you juice it, just makes it a lot easier to do that. Now we're ready to juice this puppy, so go ahead and cut it in half and place it into a uh, juicer. And yes, we're gonna juice the whole lemon in this. I like to have this tea in the morning, so, you know, once a day is plenty. Next, we're adding some apple cider vinegar. Make sure you shake it a bit, that way the mother gets mixed in really well. All right, it's time to put this on the stove. I'm gonna put it on low heat. Now, I don't want you to freak out, but we're gonna put some raw garlic in this, and it really has enough of its own health benefits to really warrant its use. I'm gonna be using one clove here. That one clove really turned out to be three little ones, but that's okay. Now, go ahead and put it into a garlic press like we have here, and smash it just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. So just smash that garlic right into the pot of water. Give that a stir and let it simmer for a good 10 minutes. When it's ready, go ahead and pour it in a mug, but do not use a strainer because we want those bits of garlic and the lemon zest to be in our drink. We're gonna drink that. The last thing we're gonna add is some maple syrup. A couple of teaspoons probably would be right. This is gonna balance out the tartness from the ginger and the garlic and even the lemon. You can use honey or any other sweetener that you like. I think you're going to find this very tasty and hopefully it'll keep you nice and healthy during the winter season. If you want to try another immune boosting tea, I've got one for you called my Flu Bomb. This is made with fresh turmeric, ginger, and some cinnamon for a slightly different flavor. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. Okay, so if you stuck around to the end of this video, then you get to hear chef joke number two. What do you get when a tea bag meditates? Serena Tea. Thanks for watching everybody, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. I'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.